All right, people, what's up? I'm watching a Monday Night Football, uh, Chicago and Green Bay. So any people from Chicago or Green Bay, what's up, Chicago? What's up, Green Bay? Well, for tonight, let's see if we can pick the best Linux operating system, best Linux-based operating system for 2013 based on your comments. Oh, I posted this up, I think, a few weeks ago, and uh, we have approximately 50-some comments. So let me go through your comments as quickly as I can and see if we can pick a winner based on this not-quite-scientific poll. Some of you have asked to say your names, and now I will do my best to get through all of these. All right, Allard Pruim says Debian Wheezy. Well, I do not use Debian, but I will take your word for it. Roger Lane, I have tested a few distros in the past, only to be disappointed right at the gate. Uh, installed Debian 7.2 earlier today, and I can't stop loving it. Okay, is it, it is everything people claim it is, and can't wait to learn my way around it. While everyone seems to be on an Ubuntu kick, uh, I prefer my Debian over Ubuntu. No regret, what other free Linux OS can make such a bold claim as rock solid? Well... I personally believe that Ubuntu 12.04 is has been and is rock solid for me. Dolphin Toad says definitely Crunchbang 11 Waldorf. Crunchbang, really? Is that for beginners? Uh, I'm sorry if I butcher your names here, Ishwar Kanzi. My vote will go for Linux Mint Cinnamon, but I also love Manjaro XFCE 0.8.7. It is my current distro. Yes, I also like Linux Mint. I uh, don't have Cinnamon. I prefer XFCE. I do have Manjaro, one of the fastest uh, Linux that you can find. Uh, Waikib Jatjen, uh, home on Big Rig, Mint 15, 16. Wait a minute. I don't think 16 has been released as of this recording. I do like Mint 15 XFCE. And I guess you travel with the old Lappy LMDE XFCE. It looks like a lot of XFCE. Uh, you don't know me, uh, 071. I guess I don't know you. It's uh, You prefer Debian 7.2. Uh, VP213 Netrunner 1306. I also like a Netrunner based on KDE, I believe. Uh, I am looking forward to Lubuntu 14.04 LTS. I am also looking forward to the next LTS releases, uh, specifically from Ubuntu. Expose film says they all suck. Desktop Linux sucks. Uh, but Mint 16 will be the best out of all since Unity became a spam delivery DE, which stands for desktop environment. Well, uh, I, I can't really say that they're, they're all that bad out of the hundreds, maybe thousands of variations of Linux. Yeah, they're, they're real, there are really only a handful that, are, that can be said to be you know, somewhat stable or solid. I am looking forward to Min 16. Layoch 111, Layoch, uh, Linux Mint 16 Petra, mate. Okay, but it hasn't been released yet, has it? All right, Fish, Fishman loves Linux. Okay, Linux Lite is by far the most user friendly for a new beginner. I don't have to use terminal commands at all. Cool, uh, Linux Lite is good. Installing updates is in the Start Apps menu and the window closes itself when it is done. Boot time is by far faster than any distro out this year. I don't know, I think I have found Lubuntu to be the fastest when I tested these, although Linux Lite is definitely nice and fast. All of my hardware is detected automatically, and I mean all of it. With other distros, I have to use the terminal commands to install drivers. Well, I did not have to use terminal commands to run uh, Zorin, Linux Mint, or Ubuntu 12.04. All right, next up, Omen X13. Sounds like a secret spy plane. Uh, Linux Mint XFCE, which I have been running on an old machine and uh, has never given me any problems on my main work machine. I tend to alternate between Unity 12.04, nice Linux Mint 16, and also Fedora 18. Jim Saberton, Linux Lite, simple and fast, it just works. Okay, I believe you. Tux1313, Mint, another vote for Mint XFCE. Uh, Georgie Georgilev, my best bet for, 20 is Mint, for 2013 is Mint 16 and OpenSUSE 13.1. 
Europa 769. I'm using Lubuntu 1310, blazing fast. Yes, it is fast. And until now, I have had no problems on both my personal computers, one new, one very old. I would really suggest it for old computers, as would I. So yes, I too like Lubuntu 1310. Garth Davison, what's up? You post quite a bit on the channel. Thank you. Well, for me, that's easy. Manjaro, uh, not for noobs. Eh, not quite for noobs, but it's getting there. But not that difficult to use. And lightning fast, it is. Manjaro is the, the fastest distro I have ever tried, especially you know, when it's booting and when it's shutting down. Uh, next would be Point Linux. Again, fast and fun to use. Plus a Bella blast from the past. Uh, are you referring to GNOME 2? Wayne Fouts, as far as, as as far as the display driver issues, I think Valve has sparked a much needed boost to the quality of the open source side. Yeah, I would have to agree to uh, to that. I upgraded the kernel to my fresh 1310 install 3.12. My old ATI GPU performed better, cool, than it ever did with Catalyst. And let's see, in fact, for the first time in 10 years, I'm no longer a dual booter. Wow, I don't need Win7 anymore for gaming. Really, interesting. Uh, Tom, uh, Tom Lant, hello, Mint 15 KDE, cool. Uh, Goldie Ken says, on balance, I would say Linux Mint 14 covers just about all of your requirements for the best distro. Of course, there is always that little, uh, little matter of the Justibus, so you, the Justibus, so you probably find lots of other quality validity responses. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. All right, uh, Smart Bomb, <laughs> 33, in no particular order. Crunchbang Elementary o OS and Mint. Don't know about Crunchbang. Elementary OS is okay. I like Mint. Raul Guerrao, Debian 7 and or Manjaro. Well, I like Manjaro. Juka Kammer, again, I hope I'm saying your names right. Debian is stable as a rock, so it's great for productivity. I use my myself use Manjaro, a great distro for a hobbyist home user. Elementary OS deserves a mention. Yeah, I would say it does deserve a mention. As I stated, Manjaro is one of the fastest. I'm looking for a pattern here because I think I'm going to pick uh, the best Linux distro based on your opinions. I'm going to do that tonight. Bernardo Ramos, I've been following lots of Linux's reviews lately. There are many options to go forward. 2013 is setting a transition period for Linux distros. The game needs to uh, go on more up. The game needs to go on more up to the end of first semester 2014 after Ubuntu 2014. Uh, 1404, yeah, mid 16 and, and perhaps another elementary OS, all based on new LTS versions. In general, if you are a beginner, I would probably say stick with LTS versions of Linux. The alternatives are BC, PCBSD, CentOS, OpenSUSE, or a current rolling release, uh, Arch Manjaro, Solid XK. This weekend I heard about Antergos. Uh, I, I think Antergos, yes, is built on Arch. And Bernardo continues with, we need to remember the battle between Wayland versus Mir. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen uh, with, quote, any standard display driver coming next year. It, it's I'm curious to see what Ubuntu does with that. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jim says, I agree with Billy. Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon, okay. Uh, Billy Bilboa, Mint 13 Cinnamon, okay. Wayne Fouts, again, I don't use it, but I would say Elementary OS wins, okay. Rui Castro, Linux Mint 15, okay. Rune Vel00, user-friendly Zorin OS 7, okay. Performance Manjaro, okay. Secure and user-friendly Corora Mate 19, 19, I do not know that one. Uh, Linux source says, number one is Ubuntu GNOME 13.10, Zubuntu 13.10, number two, Celad XK, XFCE, number three, Lubuntu 13.10 is number four. Top three, Zorin OS again, Elementary, Linux Mint, number three. Day Bass says, Lubuntu, aborted kitten, aww. Mint 15 KDE. Uh, let's see. I moved to Crunchbang and not looking back. Interesting. Another Crunchbang. This is from Akakarwaga. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm, I do apologize. Dolphin Toad. Caught in the crossfire. That's all. What was this about? Uh, 
about the attack. Okay. Some kind of attack. Anyway. Uh, the, the Surya open Suzu 12.3, stable, lots of features, good performance. Luca Coronel de C says Solid XK KDE. Okay, Edwin Pollens. I'm new to Linux. I vote for Ubuntu, but I was impressed with Zorin. Cool. Ubuntu, but that's just because I'm using it for a few years now. Even my kids love it so far. So says JX78. Okay. BM Hunter Video says Zorin OS. Another Linux Mint for uh, Enemity. Likes Linux Mint 15, Elementary OS, Lunar, or even Ubuntu 13.10. All of them are simple to use and beginner friendly in different ways. Okay. Wood, Woda8080, OpenSUSE, and another vote for Linux Lite from Koala66, stable performs, great, easy to use. Well, guys, can we pick a winner based on these comments for the best Linux OS for 2013? It seems to me we may have a somewhat of a tie. Again, this is completely unscientific, just based on your descriptions of what you really like. Um, I would say it's a tie between Linux Mint uh, and maybe, what else got multiple mentions, and Linux Lite? Maybe I mean I mean there were multiple mentions on multiple different distributions, but I'm kind of I kind of get the feeling here that we have a tie based on your descriptions or your comments, and I'm just guessing here. So why don't we call it a tie? The poll, this unofficial poll, has Linux Mint. I guess different variations, although XFCE seems to be popular. Linux Mint, XFCE. And Linux Lite, which I think is based on XFCE, that is a tie, folks. Those two, that is a tie based on your usage of different types of Linux for the best Linux OS for 2013. Well, that's it. Thank you for your comments and for uh, stating some of your votes of what you like. Uh, I am working on my own personal perfect Linux desktop for 2013 and um, I have a tie in my mind also but I will probably pick one here shortly sometime this week and give you my vote for the best for beginners and why. Thank you for watching and listening and as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future.